All right, the mic's on. <clears throat> Where do I start? What's this light? All right. Do these bulbs still work? Let's see. Ooh, ooh, that one still works. All right. All right. Let's see here. What's? Hey, that one still works. That's good. That's good. And boom. Oh, those look. Oh, that looks good. Does this screen still flip out? Let's. Ooh, wow! Look at that. Look at. Look at this. What is all this? It's been a. It's been a. It's probably been like what? It's five, six years. Let's just act like I never even left. It's probably easier that way. So this is what's going to be happening for. Look, I even still have the stool here. Five years later. Um, I don't even know if I'm in focus right now. I probably should have checked all of this. But this is all part of the learning experience. Why am I so low? Can I move forward? Is this better? I don't even know if this is better. God, I'm a mess. I should have really planned this out better. Let's just put it to you like this. Um, I miss this. I miss doing this. Um, Michael Warbuck show, not so much. All the you know pop culture news, stuff like that that's going on right now. Uh, not, not my thing anymore because I don't feel like uh, I could say, talk, about what I want to talk about the way that I would like to talk about it now. Uh, a lot has changed in a plenty of year. And uh, the fact of being that A, hey, you get canceled for anything nowadays. B, everybody takes everything personal nowadays. C, you can't even have your own opinion without somebody else taking it personal. D, and you know, YouTube is just like, hey, we don't, we don't like that video. We're going to take it down. And if you do more videos like that, we're just going to cancel your account. So I'm not trying to have that happen. Also, a lot has changed with YouTube, you know, over the past years. Like, I, I try to keep up. I know I'm behind, but I try to keep up. Uh, a lot of it is like, hey, no more intros. Don't just jump right into the video. Uh, also, try to make your video 17 and a half hours long. YouTube loves long form content. That, that's just, that blows my mind. Like, why they choose long form content uh but at the same time like people have the ex like what, the attention span of like what is it like 32 seconds or something now if that you know and then they're like hey here's shorts you know try to make something funny in 15 seconds or 30 seconds or 60 seconds whatever but still make the long form content like language on here you can't even swear anymore well i mean you can't swear after like i guess it's like an eight second rule or something like that for advertisers but still, like, too many swear words are like, nope, demonetized. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying. I'm already demonetized, so this doesn't even matter. I don't know. It's just weird. I'm, like, coming back to all of this, like, I have a lot to think about. And think about, like, what I want to talk about or think about what I want to do with this channel now. Um, over the past five, six years, I've, I've gotten into a couple other little weird, uh, not, uh, yeah, habits, not habits, hobbies. Hobbies is the word I'm going for. Things that I've gotten into over the past couple years was like uh, uh, shoes. I've gotten into shoes, like, you know, sneakers, all that stuff. You know, owning Jordans, owning Yeezys, owning all kinds of shoes. You know, when I don't, I'm not good at it because I haven't flipped them. So I just bought a bunch of shoes. <clears throat> now they just sit in my room in a box. Great retirement plan. Also, I was still into car detailing, a lot of that. That was what a lot of my videos were before I stopped doing this. Uh, I'm still into that. Uh, not as heavy, but uh, you know, I still, I still love, still love doing it. It's good for the brain. Trust me. Also, like uh, I gotten into growing hot peppers, uh, growing, you know, like not full blown garden, just like tomatoes and hot peppers. I love growing all kinds of hot peppers. Can't eat them anymore, <clears throat> but you know, I enjoyed doing that. So that could be something I could do in the summer. Weirdly enough, like this is how I know that I've hit my peak in forties because now I've really gotten into like uh landscaping or taking care of my yard you know like is that weird like is this how i know that i'm getting older when i'm like you know be great fertilizer i gotta do that today like that you know, this is the stuff that, that i go through now like no more you know hey let's go out to the bar and go to karaoke it's like i gotta cut the grass in the morning other things that you know i could say that i've gotten into is like writing uh if i were to turn the camera around you would see i got like a bookshelf that's full of like notebooks and and all kinds of like writing tablets and then over on my desk I got like a bunch of journals and stuff that are just waiting for ideas to be written down. It's been weird like being off of YouTube where this was my main hobby. This was my main thing. Honestly this kind of all came about a conversation that I had 
uh, with some people about, um, you know, like goals that I have in life, you know, that kind of thing. It just kind of like stemmed from like a regular conversation. Uh, like, what do you want to do in life, Mike? Why are you still working here at this job? It really made me think like, you know what, you're right. You know, after like five, six years now, you know, it's, how do I want to say this? Like working for somebody else sucks. It really does. Like, um, you know, but like, I understand, you know, you got to have a job, you got to earn income, you got to provide for your family, provide for yourself, provide for your dog. You know, I, I get it. But you know, when you're, when you are your own boss, everything's different. You know, like you might work a shit ton harder. Uh, you might care a shit ton more, you know, when you're working for your own dream, working for your own self. And that's kind of like what I want to get back into. The more that I go to my job, the more I realize, like, hey, I don't want to be doing this anymore. You know, um, like, I really enjoyed the entrepreneurial life. And uh, going to work every day kind of inspires me to not want to go to work every day. It makes me want to do this instead. I love a lot of the people that I work with. Don't get me wrong. Uh, my bosses are great. You know, uh, they... You know, a, a lot of them take care of me, you know, and uh, look out for me. And, you know, I try my best to help them out whenever I can. And, you know, like, it's not like I go to work and I'm just, I like, hate it, you know. Uh, like, I do have some good things there. But, uh, you know, it's getting to the point where I'm just like, you know what? Like, I, I, I need to move on because going there is just gen generally, gradually making me hate the job more you know and i'm sure a lot of people go through this i'm sure a lot of people feel this same way and this is what i'm kind of at like it's time to take all my freedom back you know like uh instead of having to go to work at four o'clock in the morning yeah that sucks and having to deal with somebody else's schedule and tell me when i need to be at work and you know having to deal with stresses and pressures that you know really shouldn't be all that complicated you know and uh like i'm kind of over it and, like, I've even had bosses, you know, there say, hey, well, why are you still not doing YouTube anymore? Like, what's going on, you know? And so it's not like they don't know about my YouTube channel or they don't want, they don't know that, you know, I want to get out of it, you know, get out of the workspace, you know, and back into this. And uh, I think that's what, um, I think that's what I'm going to try and do this year. Uh, I know I've teased it before, like, oh, I'm coming back, blah, blah, blah. like, but I think the shorts thing is helping me, you know, because it's like it's quick content creation. Uh, but doing this, you know, I still want to create videos long form. Might only be a video a week for right now, you know, on based on my schedule. Maybe two videos a week, depending on how busy my days off are. And, uh, you know, like I still want to talk about other things. You know, I, I still want to do my uh, WWE wrestling predictions or pay-per-view predictions. You know, a lot of that fun stuff that I, I did before. And, um, I just got to figure out how I want to sort it all out and go from there and, um, hopefully get back into this full time again. And I understand it's gonna be hard work. I understand it's not going to happen overnight. And this is probably gonna be a gradual process this year, but, um, I'm excited. I think again, and hopefully we can continue this and I know I will try to give my best. With every video. But I got to relearn like Adobe Premiere, After Effects, all that stuff again. Uh, also, I have to upgrade my computer because apparently the new Adobe Premiere has new uh, functions and all that. Or the whole Adobe suite has all new functions that <clears throat> my computer just does not qualify for anymore. So that's it. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to do outros anymore. So bye. No, that's not what I'm going to do. But uh, I think that's... I think it's part of the new things too. Like just keep talking until the end of the video. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. Yay! Let's let's iron out all this stuff together. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully.